let me show you something that will blow your mind away. Take a look at this world map that shows the solar capacity of the world. Look carefully and you'll notice one country that stands out from the rest, China. That's right, China is the country that produces the most clean energy from solar power in the world. What is even crazier is that China installed more solar panels last year in 2023 than the U.S. has in total. According to the report from Reistat Energy, China is the world leader in renewable energy, including 40% of the planet's entire solar capacity. In comparison, the U.S. comes in second place with 12%. In today's video, we will talk about the rise of China's solar industry, how China dominates this sector, and of course, the most controversial topic of all, why China is still the country with the greatest number of coal-fired power stations despite its increase in solar capacity. So stay tuned and let us uncover the answers. But first, support us by subscribing to our channel so that we will have more motivation to create better videos to show you even more. Now let's talk about the rise of China's solar power. How China dominated the solar industry. The timeline of China's rise began in the late 1990s, when Germany, overwhelmed by the domestic response to a government incentive program to promote rooftop solar panels, provided the capital, technology, and experts to lure China into making solar panels to meet the German demand. At first, China saw solar energy only as a source of electricity to help impoverished rural areas remote from its power grid. But then, some of its pioneering companies became intrigued by the income that manufacturing solar panels for export to Germany might bring in. When Spain and Italy began their own rapidly expanding solar incentives, adding to the demand, China began scouring the world, hiring more solar experts and shopping for machinery and polysilicon supplies to meet the expected surge of orders for solar panels. And then the Chinese government decided to get serious in the solar industry, injecting billions of dollars into the sector. Expanding renewable energy became one of seven categories of business that received special attention, including loans and tax incentives under China's famous five-year plans. As you might already know, China has the economy of scale. The country began manufacturing solar panels, and in no time, China completely dominated the industry. According to a report from Wood Mackenzie, China is responsible for over 80% of the world's solar manufacturing capacity. The report stated, China's capacity expansion will perpetuate its dominance in the global solar industry with its advanced technology, low costs, and complete supply chain. Curious about the extent of China's dominance in the solar supply chain? Allow me to illustrate. Among the top 10 companies engaged in polysilicon production, an impressive seven are based in China, including the leading three. China's influence extends throughout the various stages of transforming polysilicon into ingots, wafers, cells, and ultimately, solar panels. Remarkably, all top 10 suppliers of solar manufacturing equipment are also of Chinese origin. China's stronghold in the solar PV value chain goes beyond these aspects. The manufacturing of other crucial components, such as the balance of module components, finds a significant presence in China. Additionally, the production of inverters, responsible for converting direct current output to alternating current, as well as the manufacturing of aluminum and steel frames used for mounting solar panels, is predominantly concentrated in China. Projections indicate that upon the completion of ongoing expansion plans within the Chinese solar industry, its market share across all segments of the value chain is anticipated to soar to 90, 95%. This unmistakably underscores China's absolute dominance in the solar supply chain. What happened to China's coal consumption? 
As China experienced a surge in economic growth post-1978, energy demands soared, prompting a heavy reliance on coal, a trend common among developing nations. Despite a recent decline in coal usage over the past decade, around 57% of China's energy consumption still hails from coal as of 2019. Cheap and dependable, coal continues to dominate electricity generation, contributing to substantial carbon emissions and environmental consequences. Faced with mounting public concern, particularly post the 2013 air apocalypse, Chinese leadership shifted focus to the renewable industry. In 2016, China committed to the Paris Agreement, aiming to peak carbon emissions and elevate non-fossil fuel energy to 20% by 2030. Although China's coal consumption has decreased over the past decades, the country has just increased its coal-fired power generation slightly in recent years. And in 2022, Coal consumption in China increases by 1.4%. However, the government is reporting a major increase in coal use of 4.3%, and despite China's dominance in global solar capacity, it is still the world's largest coal power producer. And that means China is now both the world's biggest clean energy producer and also coal power producer. What is even more staggering is that China has permitted more than 100 new coal plants despite record growth in clean energy. This has been widely reported by the Western media, and there are a couple of reasons why China increased its coal-fired power plants. First, China faced a surge in electricity demand, primarily driven by the widespread use of air conditioners and intense heat waves. Second, for coastal provinces, which traditionally relied on gas-fired power plants to handle peak demand, are now seeking alternatives or constructing new power sources as the prices for imported gas spiked in 2022. And third, some large wind and solar power projects in remote areas necessitate new thermal power plants to regulate the grid's voltage and frequency, showcasing the complex challenges in balancing and sustaining China's energy infrastructure. Despite notable progress in the installation of clean energy sources, the yearly increase in power generation has not yet caught up with the growing demand for electricity. Consequently, there remains a continuous reliance on coal for power generation. However, the tipping point where all demand growth can be met by clean sources, is anticipated to arrive soon, especially with the escalated targets for annual wind and solar installations. As per Ristad Energy's analysis, China is projected to witness a rise in coal consumption until 2026. However, a shift is anticipated after 2027, with a decline expected as renewable energy sources like wind and solar increasingly contribute to a larger share of power generation. When clean energy surpasses the growth rate of overall electricity demand, there won't be room for an expansion in coal power generation. With ongoing capacity additions, China's extensive coal power fleet is expected to experience a decline in utilization rates. In alignment with this, in 2020, President Xi Jinping of China set a directive stating that the country will strive to reach peak CO2 emissions before 2030 and attain carbon neutrality by 2060. Do you think China will achieve its goal of becoming a carbon neutral country by 2060? Share your thoughts and leave your comments below. Why China Bets Big With Solar Energy Here's a thought-provoking question. Why did China place a significant bet on solar energy? Let me break it down. In Europe, the energy landscape is undergoing a transformation due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, leading countries like Germany to seek alternatives to their reliance on imported Russian natural gas. Solar power has emerged as a key alternative, with Europe aiming to make it the primary energy source by the end of this decade, implying a threefold increase in solar energy generation by 2030. For Germany, 
This signals a revival of its solar power industry, which faced challenges from Chinese dominance over the past decade. The demand for solar energy is evident, and China is strategically positioned. In 2023, China's clean energy investment surged by 40% to $890 billion, nearly matching the total global investments in fossil fuel supply that year. The clean energy sectors contributed a substantial $1.6 trillion to China's economy, marking a 30% year-on-year increase. Impressively, these sectors became the primary driver of China's overall economic growth, constituting 40% of the GDP expansion in 2023. Without this growth, China's GDP would have fallen short of the government's target, rising only by 3.0% instead of the achieved 5.2% in 2023. Can you now understand why China is making significant strides in the clean energy sector? Firstly, it aligns with the goal of curbing carbon emissions, vital for achieving China's ambitious carbon neutral target by 2060. Secondly, the clean energy industry presents a lucrative opportunity for China, aligning with its shift from low-cost manufacturing to a technology-focused economy. A noteworthy indication of this transformation is China surpassing Japan as the world's largest car exporter. In summary, China is poised to intensify its investments in clean energy. Do you believe China will maintain its dominance in the solar industry? Share your insights in the comments below. If you appreciate our content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging videos like this one.